Hey, good morning, church. Pastor John, we're out uh, by the Connect Hub, our guest services hub, and standing in the water with Pastor is Cinda. And this is just a little bit of Cinda's story, and she wrote, she accepted Christ in 1994 on an Easter day. She went through a divorce in 2010, and there was a lot of difficult times after that with her and her church. Because of the rejection she felt in her church, she turned her back on God, and she stopped growing as a Christian. She says, I felt empty inside and tried to find men to fill that emptiness before accepting Christ. I was full of fear, shame, and guilt. Now, I'm slowly growing, and I'm ready. I'm reading the Bible, and I am at peace with my past. And Cindy, I know you and I have talked quite a bit about this. And I'm so excited that you are standing in these waters and you are professing that Jesus is Lord of your life. And what the pastor is going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Working his way up into the water. This is Luca. Luca arrived at my private school. Uh, Christ Chapel was the first place I learned about Jesus. On the day I came to know Jesus as my personal Savior, I was sitting in church and I was listening to Pastor Todd. He asked if anyone wanted Jesus to be their Savior. I decided I did and I prayed with him. At the end, I raised my hand and I got my bag. I have so many favorite things about Jesus. They are, he is gentle, kind, he helps so many people, and that he loves me. My favorite Bible verse is Jeremiah 29, 11, because my mom bought me a picture with it, with that verse on it. She tells me all the time that God has big plans for me and that I'm going to do great things. It makes me feel special. Hey, Luca, with that, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everyone, this is Melissa. And Melissa is coming to be baptized today because she says today is the day for it. Melissa, I know you've spoken with Pastor Todd. We know that you believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior. And with that, Pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There it is. Stepping up is Jasmine. Jasmine, that she believed in Jesus right now. Right now, she just accepted Christ. And she says, I need salvation. And she is accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. And she is publicly declaring her faith in Jesus. And with that, I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Gang, this is Taylor. A lot of us know Taylor. Taylor accepted Christ when she was 17, when she was a fool. Day, she said, no more passing the buck. Today is now. Taylor, we know that you believe in Jesus. Your life emulates that in all that you do. And with your profession of faith, pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, this is Beth. I'm thinking Pastor Sermon. I believe Pastor got out of the way and allowed God to speak because your Beth says that she to just this morning. And with that, she says, I need God. And she is professing that Jesus is Lord of her life. And with that, Pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, 
all, this is Maurice. I love what he has written here. I made my decision to follow Christ a long time ago, but I wanted to make sure I was secure in my decision to follow Christ. I've been strongly following Jesus my whole life, and I know that I'm not perfect, but I need a God, and I need Jesus. Today, he's being bapti baptized to signify that he is all in with God. Maurice, with that, Pastor, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There it is. Okay. Sam and Marshall, go to campus. Go ahead on up. All this is Karen Clark. Karen steps into the waters of baptism and she says that she accepted Christ this morning. She believes that Jesus is Lord and Savior of her life. And she's doing this as a public profession to her 11 grandchildren and to Sam and Marsha work. Karen, with that, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is Debbie Jones. She writes, I was bought up, brought up in the church and have always believed, was but was baptized when she was a baby. It's time to do it publicly to say, I believe in Jesus as my savior. Debbie, with that profession of faith, this public declaration, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Listen, uh, God is at work today. Oh, this is Jacob stepping into the water. Jacob says that he accepted Christ as Lord and Savior when he was about 15 years old, just a few years ago. Today he's saying, I'm being, I'm being baptized because I feel like it's time to take the next step in my faith so that I can grow into the man I was raised to be. I want to give my all to God and to Jesus. Jacob, with that profession of faith, pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jennifer, you ready? You okay? You need some help? All this is Jennifer Nunez. Jennifer says that she accepted Christ. Easter weekend is when she fully gave her life to Jesus. She says, I want to be baptized today because I felt lost for so many years and I found the Lord. He has become a huge part of my family and is in ingrained in my heart. Ah. And she, she says, do you agree with this? I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. His death and resurrection paid the price for my sins and made way for my salvation. Exclamation mark, yes. With that, Jennifer, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All oh, this is Etsy Ortiz making her way in. Etsy believe, had believed in Jesus for a while, and she's been wanting to get baptized, but for whatever reason has been putting it off. Today, Pastor Todd spoke to her heart, and she is convinced that today is the right day to go public with her profession of faith. And with that, Pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Oh, this is very special. This is Jan Shropshire. We have heard David's story, and this is David's mom. And David not only got the opportunity to, whoop, to baptize his daughter, but he's gonna baptize his mother as well. Jan says that it is today that she accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, and that she is being baptized as that profession that Jesus is Lord. Jan, I'm so excited to that your son David is going to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everyone, this is Willie Jones. Willie says that he accepted Christ five years ago, and I love what he said. Why do you want to be baptized? It's time. It's time. And he says, "Do you agree? The, uh, do you do you agree that Jesus is the Son of God?" And he says, "Absolutely." And with that, Pastor is going to baptize you, Willie, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There it is. Oh, this is Willie's son, Robert. Robert says that he accepted Jesus, truly accepted Jesus while he was incarcerated. He has left that lifestyle and he has strayed from Jesus, but he is coming back and he wants to publicly profess that Jesus is Lord and Savior. Robert, with that profession of faith, your dad's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All oh, this is Aiden. Aiden said that he made his decision to not only follow Jesus, but to be baptized as a public profession of faith today. He says Jesus has to show the world that he died for us. And so Aiden is saying that this is his public profession, that he recognized that Jesus lived, that he died, that he rose again, that he is sick in his life. Aiden was is going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hi. Oh. Hi, Kai, you're up. Oh, yes. Oh, this is Kai. Kai says that she accepted Jesus a while ago. But she has decided today that it's time to go public. Is that right? She's walked away and wants to come back. And this is the beauty. You can come back as compassion on all of us. With your profession of faith, your declaration that Jesus is Lord, pastor is going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, this is Ariana making her way into the water. Ariana accepted Christ in June of last year while speaking with her mom and dad and her sister. Today she says she wants to be baptized because she wants to confess her love to God publicly and wants him to continue to fill her heart with love. Ariana, with that, you're gonna get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Everyone, this is Nicholas and his dad. Nicholas says that he accepted Christ uh, and wants to serve Christ, and he's do been doing so since 2009. Today, he says the Holy Spirit spoke to him and that he needs to be baptized today. Nicholas, with your profession of faith that you believe that Jesus is Lord and sin, your dad is going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All oh, this is Matthew Horton step up. Matthew says that he accepted Christ January 27th of 2017, and he prayed with Pastor Todd and received service. And today he says, I want to be baptized because it's my chance because I want to. He wants to go public and show the world that Jesus is Lord of his life. And with that, Matthew, Pastor's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He's been holding for 12 years. No more excuses today. So me and his wife are going to baptize him. Get in there, baby. Come on. <laughs> As Pastor Todd just told me, Big Tito's jumping in the water with his wife today. He's been holding out for 12 years, but today he couldn't hold back the Holy Spirit anymore. He's accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior, and today, with his wife, he is publicly professing that Jesus is Lord and Savior of his life. Tito, with that, Pastor and wife, are gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is the last one for today, but this is Isabella Khan. Isabella says that she accepted Jesus when she was seven years old, and today she wants to be baptized to show her faith that she has made that decision. This is truly a public profession of that faith that you declared when you were seven. Isabel, with that, pastor's gonna baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.